Hi, I'm Siobhan and this is Anglophenia. British food has gotten a bad rap. A lot of people call our grub bland, boring, uninspired, overcooked, beige, boiled, revolting. A lot of that reputation came about during World War II when the whole country was put under rationing and we had very little variety. By the way, thanks for coming America. You were a couple of years late, but we won't hold it against you. The reality is that Britain has a great number of tasty, nay scrumptious dishes. And I want to talk about the best of them and really put to death this idea that Brits don't know their way around the kitchen. Yes, there's more to traditional British food than just fish and chips and mushy Brussels sprouts. And by the way, America, your national cheese is made of orange plastic, so. Don't throw stones. Let's start our culinary journey through Britain with Scotch eggs. It's a classic picnic item invented during the 18th century as a portable food for long carriage rides. It's a hard boiled egg wrapped in sausage, covered in breadcrumbs, and then deep fried. These precious nuggets, cradled in fat and cholesterol, will in fact kill you, but man, what a way to go. Savory pies. Americans think of pies as crusty, gooey desserts filled with oversweetened fruits, but did you know that they are just as delectable as savory dishes? And I'm not just talking about the boring old pot pies that you guys are familiar with. No, from steak and kidney all the way to jellied eel, nobody does savory pies like the Brits. I'm including Cornish pasties in this category because they're basically pies with handles. Delicious, flaky handles. Bangers and mash. Succulent, tender sausages with mounds of mashed potatoes and boatloads of oniony gravy. It's one of Britain's best known dishes, and rightfully so. It's delicious. But do you know why they're called bangers? The name reportedly dates back to World War I and refers to how sausages will often burst or bang in the pan if they are heated too quickly. Curry. Yes, you haven't experienced Britain if you haven't had a great curry takeaway. But wait, aren't curries from India, I hear you ask? Now I know this isn't arguably proper British food, but really, what's the point of invading half of the world if you can't culturally appropriate their best food? It's our culinary Elgin marbles and we're never giving it back. Crumpets. Oh, I love crumpets. They're kind of like a cross between a pancake and an English muffin, which, by the way, we don't have in England. The middle is filled with this honeycomb-like lattice, so when you toast them and then put butter on top, the butter melts into the holes and like fills up all of the little gaps, and it's just like... <sighs> Bacon butties. Why do Brits call sandwiches butties in the first place? Well, it's just a shortening of bread and butter. It's very northern. And we tend to stuff these butties with unthinkable things like chips, or as you Yanks would say, French fries. You just cover it in butter, maybe some ketchup, delicious. But my favorite is a bacon butty. It's just bacon on a bun. How can you not love bacon in a bun? It's the two best things in the world combined into one thing. Sponge puddings. This ain't your mother's jello pudding, America. No, these stodgy, delicious treats are essentially steamed cakes, often with golden syrup or jam at the bottom. So when you flip them over, the golden syrup and jam pours down the sides. They also have the added bonus of having fun names like Spotted Dick. And they're served hot with lashings of custard. Delicious. Scones with jam and clotted cream. Now what we call biscuits in the UK, you call cookies in the US. And what you call biscuits, we call scones. Now if you've ever thought that a scone was disgusting and dry, it's because you've been eating them wrong. We serve them with jam and clotted cream, which is a very thick cream, somewhere between heavy whipping cream and butter. Now there is great contention between the counties of Devon and Cornwall as to how to construct a scone correctly. Now in Devon, they say you put the cream on first and then the jam, and then in Cornwall, they are adamant that you put the jam on and then the cream. Don't laugh, wars have been fought over less. Gammon, it's a classic English pub dish. Gammon steaks are slices of pork leg that are cured like bacon and then grilled, topped with either a fried egg or a slice of pineapple, served with chips and peas because we serve chips and peas with everything. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more episodes of Anglophenia and tell us your favorite British foods in the comments.